All right, so we're on this website called PyChart, or it's actually called JetBrains.com. That's the company. Um, they create a piece of software called PyCharm, and there's just one more thing I'm going to recommend you guys download. It's this PyCharm piece of software. It's just, it's called an IDE. I think it's Integrated Development Environment or something. It's just a program that helps write code better. So it'll it'll auto complete words, help fill it. It'll point out errors to you. It's totally unnecessary, but I really think it's pretty slick. Um, I have it installed here, so I'll just give you a quick run through of what it looks like. Um, you have all your, your data on the side. You just can create new files, create Python file. That's how I do all of this. Um, it just makes coding easier and it, it's pretty powerful. Uh, I would recommend it. It's, it's one of the most or more popular IDEs for Python at the moment. These things, they change, um, but I would recommend it. If you didn't want to download that, oh, there is, I should mention, There's a you can get this for free. This community edition is free, totally free. And you can do everything we're going to do. You can do it with this community edition. Um, if you didn't want to download that, that's not a problem. Uh, we can just use Python. It comes installed by default. It's called idle. Uh, oh, something I should explain. ArcGIS, or Python has two different main versions. Python 2.7 and Python 3.4. Um, there's still major support for both versions, but ArcGIS in particular, their module, which is called ArcPy, uses Python 2.7, so that's what we're going to have to use. So I have both installed on my computer, but we don't want to use 3.5, so you don't want to use this one. Um, when you install ArcGIS, uh, it installs Python for you, Python 2.7, so you can verify that by going to your C drive and by default it'll put it here, Python 2.7 open it up and that's there because Arc put it there and this is all the, the Python stuff um, so yeah you could you don't need to use the JetBrains PyCharm you could just use idle open it up and you would just hit file new file and this is where you would follow along but you can see it's it's very bland like you can start writing stuff and it does color some things like that but it's it's kind of lame in my opinion it's cooler to use jet brains but not necessary um all right actually i think i'll stop the video now we didn't really do anything but i just wanted to explain a little bit about PyCharm and how arc by default uses 27 and uh how you can use idle if you wanted to all right in the next video we will start doing some scripting all right see you